Hola and welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived here in the town for over 20 years and my aim is to give you a different take on all there is to see, do and enjoy in Benidorm and the surrounding areas, so here we go. Today's vlog takes us on a walk uphill along a section of one of the longest main thoroughfares in the old town, Avenida de los Almendros or Avenue of the Almond Trees. We start at the bottom by Benidorm's port and the well-known Dove Park and first on our left we see the three-star hotel Tanit with its street-facing cafe bar which anyone is welcome to use whether a guest of the hotel or not. Built in 1968 and then renovated in 2002, the hotel has 83 rooms over its six floors and is currently ranked number 92 out of 198 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor with a rating of 4 out of 5, putting it in the very good category. At the bottom end of this street we also see a handy taxi rank with an information board too, giving you approximate prices to various local destinations along with a telephone number in case the rank is empty. Moving onwards we pass a ramp down to an underground car park and then the modern bingo hall of Bingo Puerto. With a large bingo salon as well as up-to-date games rooms, the premises open daily at 1pm with bingo games starting at 2pm all the way through until the early hours. Carrying on to the corner we see the Hotel Magic Venetia which is currently undergoing extensive construction work and renovations. When completed the hotel will be transformed into a four-star superior hotel renamed as Villa España and it hopes to reopen in or around May 2023. Now crossing Carrer del Mercat we walk by the Marios Ayas photography studio set back from the street and then the cheeky pizza kiosk which opens later on in the afternoons. Next along we pass the smart marble frontage of private apartment block Edificio Consolado and then a local mini-mart which can be accessed via a few steps taking you below street level. We now cross Calle del Marques de Comillas where on the corner we see the smart menswear shop of Polo Collection who offer many designer brands. And then next door, Supermercado La Calle who as well as the usual mini-mart items also have a fresh fruit and vegetable section facing the street. Abutting this we see Spanish karaoke bar Porky's Pub which opens at 9pm and then the offices of the Empire Premium Real Estate Agency. Next along we pass the brightly posted premises of Yevetelo Pizzas who offer a pizza and fast food takeaway service as well as the option to dine in. Adjacent to this on the corner we see another estate agent this time called Fincas Al Murphy. We now cross Quai de Roldan, where immediately in front of us we find the modern shoe shop of Calfado Sandra. Next door is the Amaya Fashion Boutique, selling cheaply priced current fashion clothes and footwear and this is followed by a similar shop next door called Fashion Addict. Adjacent we find La Zapateria, a quality shoe store selling all the top brands, which brings us to the next corner.
Now crossing Calle del Almadrava, we then see the large premises of opticians Optica San Mateo, which also house a pharmacy and an auditory centre. Next along is the three-star Hotel Montesol, which was built in 1980 and then renovated in 2014. It offers 84 rooms over its six floors and is currently ranked 93rd out of 198 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor, with a rating of 4 out of 5, putting it in the very good category. We now cross Carrera de la Garita, where we can see the entrance to the two-star hotel Terramar, whose gardens and swimming pool area we are now walking past. Built in 1965 and then renovated in 2002, it offers 72 rooms over its four floors. The hotel is ranked number 117 out of 198 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor and is rated 3.5 out of 5 by reviewers. While the hotel itself is currently closed, its street-facing cafe remains open, however, and is a cosy spot to stop for a drink and a pastry before carrying on shopping. Moving along, next door we see the Phone House mobile phone shop, selling the usual devices, charges and accessories. And then the Lara Barber Shop, who have been in business since 1990. And then, bringing us to the corner, a large closed unit which is now papered over, which used to be the Moderna Cafe and Bakery. We now cross Calle del Apollo Onfe and swing back for a look down the street at where we have just come from, and this is where we end today's vlog. I hope that you have enjoyed this sunny and informative walk along a section of Avenida de los Almendros with me. And if you did, please help me out by watching some of my other great street walks along with my many other videos which include hotel and cafe reviews, news and updates and much much more besides. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you out and about next time. Bye for now, adios, ciao!